To do the isotopes and atomic mass simulation, click on the link, which will bring you to this screen. On the worksheet for problems one through three, we'll use uh, the simulation on the left, isotopes. And then to answer the problems four through nine, we'll click on the simulation on the right, which is mixtures. So I click on isotopes and I have a periodic table and we have these 10 to choose from. Open up symbol and abundance in nature. So I'm gonna click on helium and I can see uh, that most helium is helium-4. 99.999% is helium-4. But there is another stable isotope. So to find that isotope, I could add a neutron. Nope, not that one. Go back to helium-4 <clears throat> or remove a neutron. Oh, helium-3 is also stable. It is not very abundant, but it is one of the two isotopes that make up the weighted average for helium. This isotope, helium-4, is called helium-4 because there are four nuclear particles. The mass number is four because there are four nuclear particles. But on this balance, I can click from mass number to atomic mass and come up with a value that is an actual mass. So mass number is not a mass. It's a counting number of the number of nuclear particles, the number of protons plus neutrons. Atomic mass is the mass of an atom. Typically in our class, we measure masses in grams. But for measuring very small masses, it makes sense to have a very small unit. And so AMU stands for atomic mass unit. One atomic mass unit is, to three sig figs, 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. It's very small. So two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons give this atom an atomic mass of 4.00260 AMU. In order to uh, answer questions three through nine, down at the bottom, uh, near the home in the center, I go to the right, that's the simulation that we're on, go to the right of that, that's mixtures. Now under mixtures, there's two things that you can do. One is, one thing you can do is make your own mixture. I could put a hydrogen one in and a hydrogen two in, and look, the abundance is 50-50, but that's not how it really is in nature. If I wanna see how it is in nature, I change my isotope mixture to nature's mix. And now I can see the actual percent composition of the mixture of hydrogens that exist. When I wanna reset, I click the uh, orange circle on the bottom right, and I can start again. So the point of um, the first screen is I can drag a hydrogen one in, and then I can see the mass. Down here, I can see the mass of a hydrogen one. This isotope of hydrogen has a mass of 1.00783 AMU when reported to six sig figs. I can remove that hydrogen and put a hydrogen two, which is also known as deuterium, uh, in there. And I can see that the mass of hydrogen two is 2.01410 AMU when reported to six sig figs. I will use that to get the mass of an atom in AMU, which is something that I will need in order to calculate a weighted average uh, for this assignment. So let me just go to a different element. How about um, magnesium? So I wanna look at nature's mixture and I see that there are three isotopes of magnesium. Magnesium 24 has a 79.99% abundance. Magnesium 25 uh, has a 10 point, probably 00% abundance. And then magnesium 26 is 11.01% .01 abundant. We're gonna change those percent abundances to a decimal fraction in order to do the calculations for this worksheet. So for magnesium 24, 78.99% could be changed from a percent to a decimal fraction and it would be 0 0.7899. Down here under average atomic mass, I can see with the percent abundance and the mass of each of those isotopes, what the weighted average is. 
but the weighted average here is reported to seven sig figs. And as you do the problems, how many sig figs you report, use following the rules of sig figs is part of the credit for the right answer. In order to do the problems, I'm gonna need to know what the mass of each isotope is. So I go to my mix, I put in one magnesium 24, and I see that the mass of that particular isotope is 23.98504 AMU. To find the mass of magnesium 25, I just put one in that um, screen and see 24.98584 AMU. Magnesium 26, 25.98259. So to find the mass of an isotope, I use isotopic mixture, my mix, and I put them in one at a time. To find the abundance, I click on nature's mix, and now I can see down here at percent composition what percentage I'm gonna turn into a decimal fraction in order to do my calculations. I hope you enjoy this FET.